Brakatayahawa, Brakatayahawa Shai, Brakatayahawa, Brakatayahawa Shai, Brakatayahawa, Brakatayahawa Shai. Blessed be the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and blessed be the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, our Lord and our Savior. To the elders of Israel being the apostles and the elders of great millstone that rule well. Shalom which is peace and love to the elect of Israel. Come back at y'all again with another lesson. Baharucha Khara Shah Amaf and the Holy Spirit of Truth. And um the topic of this video is uh pretty much I probably I probably title it um A War on Truth. Okay, because you got the UN talking about there's a, a war on um so called sea theories. Right, so called uh, uh, con, all right, con, y you know what I'm trying to say, man. All right, we're speaking in code because we're getting closer and closer to the famine of the word. All right, and until then, uh, uh, this is how we have to, this is how we have to speak to get the message across, to get the warning across. But pretty soon, we're not even going to be out there pushing this word. Pretty soon, we're not even going to be, there's not going to be no videos on the internet. Okay, uh, going back to. The title of the video, there's a war on truth, right? You got this dude, Alex Jones, he's being, he has to pay like four million, okay, to the uh, uh, to a family of uh, Sandy Hook, right, for saying that it was, uh, it was a false flag, right? He has to pay four million just because of that, all right? Uh, like the Eldi Ashawamba was saying, you know, uh, they're going to start attacking different talking points. And they already been, they already been um, uh, attacking our videos, attacking our pages, right? Uh, uh, recreating the algorithm, right? Re recreating the, uh, the YouTube policy, right? To, to try to, uh, to try to control this truth, to try to stop this word from getting out. But you can't do nothing against this truth, as the scriptures say, okay? You can't do nothing against this truth unless you find yourself... Uh, 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 to fight against the Lord, man. Okay? The Lord is going to shut this, this word down when he feels like it. Alright? On his time. So without further ado, I'm going to start with this scripture in the book of uh, 2 Peter chapter 2 and verse 2. And many shall follow their pernicious ways by reason of whom the way of truth shall be so like you, by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. Alright, the truth is going to be attacked. The ones that bear the truth, the ones that push the truth. We're going to become a target. The scriptures say, he that departed from evil maketh himself a prey. Okay, so they're going to make us public enemy number one because they're trying to set up this wicked world order. And they can't set up this wicked world order when you got them pesty prophets on the highways and byways exposing all their plans. This is the book of Esther chapter 13 and verse, I start at four. Now when I asked my counselors how this might be brought to pass, Amen, that, that excelled in wisdom among us and was approved for his constant goodwill and steadfast fidelity, and had the honor of the second place in the kingdom declared unto us, Amen, being an Edomite, more specifically an Amalekite, one of them small hatters, one of them uh, uh, 1948ers, okay, one of them fake Israelites. It says, declared unto us that in all nations throughout the world there was scattered a certain malicious people that had laws contrary to all nations. Who he's speaking about? He's speaking about the Israelites. All right, and it's the same way these Edomites feel about us today, right? We're contrary to them, okay? Uh, Esau, he, he, his business attire is to have a clean, bald face. Cut the, cut the damn sideburns off right here. That's a haircut to Esau. Cut the, cut the sideburns off at the top of the ear, right? That's not our laws. Our laws is we're we supposed to grow our facial hair out. We're supposed to... The scriptures... Um, a man is supposed to have a beard. In the uh, Zondervan Bible Compact Dictionary, it says that a beard is a manly badge of honor. All right, roughly paraphrasing the, uh, 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 the definition of the word beard in the uh, Zondervan Bible Compact Dictionary. But Esau says, oh, no, you, you need to cut all that off, right? Look like a baby back bitch, okay? Uh, look at the animal kingdom, right? Look at the lions. What separates the, uh, uh, the male lion 
from the female lion. His mane, okay? The lion's mane separates him from, 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 from the females. All right, so you cutting off, imagine if a male lion every day is shaving his mane. Hey, he's out there looking like a lioness. He's out there looking like a bitch, in other words. Nonetheless, let's continue on. It says, declare unto us that in all nations throughout the world, there was scattered a certain malicious people. When it's showing you were scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. And this is how, they, this is how here's how they feel about us, right? That had laws contrary to all nations. We're not with this alphabet people freaky deaky shit, man. We're not with that. That's against our laws. Okay, we're not with the woman being able to uh, 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 to guide abroad, being able to live this promiscuous uh, promiscuous lifestyle. We're not with none of that. All that is contrary to our laws. But this is what Esau Edom is pushing forth, right? And everything Esau has to have some bacon, has to have some pork, has to have some type of abomination. We're not with none of that. Again, this is how they feel about us now. Okay, so as the uniting of our king, so like it, and continually despise the commandments of kings, so as the uniting of our kingdoms honorably intended by us cannot go forward. They can't move forward with us on the Internet. They can't move forward with us on the highways and byways. In their mind, they can't move forward in establishing this wicked NWO, right, with us uh, 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 breathing, with us on this earth. So they're going to make war with us. Okay. They're already losing the spiritual war. He ain't got he ain't got shit for us when it comes to spirit spirituality. So this devil's gonna get carnal, right? He's going to get carnal. Let me get this in the book of Revelation. This is Revelation chapter twelve, and um, I'll start at verse seventeen. And the dragon was wroth with the woman, the woman being Israel. It says in the book of Jeremiah that the uh, that Israel is likened unto a comely and delicate woman. And the dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed, which keep the commandments of Yahweh and have the testimony of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. So this happened, it has happened before. This happened in the Roman Empire and it's going to happen again. Okay, every time Esau came into rulership, he persecuted the Israelites. He personally, when I say Israel, I'm talking about you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and the ones of us that scattered across the four corners of the earth. Every time this devil had the opportunity to, to persecute us, he did so. We're reading about an Edomite right now and his mentality, right? How he wants to slaughter all of us. How he wants to do away with all of us. Going back into the book of Psalms, it says, remember the children of Edom that said, race it, race it, even to the foundation thereof. Their mentality is us being eradicated, the Israel is eradicating the Israelites off the face of the earth. Going back to the man Esau himself, after he got supplanted, after his whole ass, his bitch ass got supplanted out, uh, out of his blessing, which never belonged to him in the first place, which always belonged to us. That's just how the Lord, the Lord had it set like that. To where you came out first and you were supposed to get the uh, uh, blessing, you were supposed to get the birthright. But the Lord rejected your ass, man. He made he he wrote that down in the movie, okay. So nonetheless, after Isaac died, he said, "After the days of my mourning, after the days of mourning for my father be uh, done, I'm gonna go and kill my brother Jacob." He has that same energy. He has that same energy since back then. Oh, we can go back further than that. Cain and Abel. He was a murderer from the beginning who slew his own brother and a liar at that, right? This devil has not changed. <laughs> it's not all he does is all he has is an iPod, an iPhone, and a damn three-piece suit on. But his intentions are the same. It says that he had a perpetual hatred. Okay. Seeing that thou uh, uh, hatest not blood, blood shall pursue thee. Okay. The Lord is gonna pay you back for all that you have done to his his chosen people, the apple of his eye. Um, back in Revelation chapter 12 and 17, and the dragon was wroth, right? The, uh, uh, dragon going back into the, to, to the Roman empire, right? And, uh, uh, now the rebirth of the, uh, of the dragon, right? That deadly wound being healed. Okay. It says, and the dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed with the remnant. Okay. Uh, this devil really wants to get the elect. Really wants to get the ones that's serving Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. You know, little Uzi Vert is in his pocket. 
Right? He, he, he got control over him. And the rest of these niggas, man. Okay? Pookie and Ray Ray. Right? Hector and Jose. He, he already got them. He already got them. He wants the Israelites. He wants Judah and Ephraim. He wants Issachar and Manasseh. Right? He wants the ones that know that we're the Israelites. That, that's serving Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. In truth and in sincerity. And went to make war with the remnant of her seed, which keep the commandments of Yahweh by, of Yahweh and have the testimony of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Okay? So he's going to come down. Let me jump up. Verse 12. I'm going to start at 11. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. But we can't lose if we abide in Yahweh Shai Mashiach. We can't lose. I don't want Rata Zawi to elect. His blood covers us. All right? And through Yahweh Shai Mashiach, we can do all things. So we must remain faithful. We must remain faithful. Um, I was watching the brother Bakwar Moth earlier, right? His his uh, the video that he did, his page is Bakwar Moth, Bakwar space Amoth. Um, and the title of his video is "A lot of men will stop teaching when this happens." All right, a lot of men is gonna take their hand off the plow. A lot of men is gonna turn back. A lot of men is gonna stop serving Yahweh by Sham Yahweh Shai when shit hits the fan. Right when sparks get to flying, a lot of men is gonna is gonna uh, um, turn turn their back on the Lord, man. I hope and I pray that I'm not one of them. Okay, I hope and I pray that that my story is, is written to endure unto the end. I hope and I pray that no matter what I must go through, I remain faithful until Yahweh Shai returns unto the end. All right, in the book of Romans it says, "What can separate us from the love of Yahweh Shai Mashiach? Not death." Not persecution, not things present, not things to come. Nothing can separate us from the love of the Lord. We are more than conquerors. Let me read that, man. That's, that's a powerful precept. It's a very powerful precept. It's the book of, this is our strength right here, man. We're not going to get guns. We're not scared. We're not scared of your threats. Uh, um, the scriptures say, uh, be not afraid of evil, evil tidings. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 112 and 7. Start at 5. It says, A good man showeth favor and lendeth. He will guide his affairs with discretion, with wisdom, right? Surely he shall not be moved forever. The righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. He shall not be afraid of evil tidings. His heart is fixed, trusting in the Lord. We're not going to be afraid of these evil tidings, of this wicked legislation that you're going to pass. Okay, that you've passed in the time of the Greeks, that you've passed right here in the time of uh, Esther, in the time of the Medio Persian Empire, that you passed in the time of the Romans, and that you're going to pass here in the times that we're living in now. Right? In your last rulership, your final and last rulership, them draconian laws. Right? We're not going to be afraid. Why? Because our heart is fixed, trusting in Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. That's the power. That's where the power lies. It says, uh, um, it says, with the faith of a mustard seed, shall be able to move mountains. So faith and belief and trusting in Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, that's our power source. That's where our power lies, man. Okay? So these different wicked legislations that he's going to pass, these, this wicked law, these draconian laws, right, that he's going to pass, he's going to pass them trying to... Um, to, to cause us to lose faith. That was Satan's whole goal, right? When we read about Job, his whole goal was to try to get Job to uh, stop serving the Lord. His whole goal was to separate Job, a servant of the Heavenly Father, was to separate him from his power. Okay? And it's the same thing that his physical counterpart is going to try to do to us. Right? This is Romans chapter 8 and verse... 35, start at um, 33, who shall lay anything to the charge of Yahweh's elect? It is Yahweh that justifieth. Who is he that condemneth? It is Mashiach that died, yea, rather, that is risen again. Who is even at the right hand of Yahweh, and who maketh intercession for us? So you're supposed to be worshiping Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Who's at the right hand of the Heavenly Father? Because he is making intercession for us. 
We didn't forget. Everybody else might have forgot about it or nobody else. Uh, everybody else probably don't care. But we here at Great Millstone, the ones that's set for the defense of the gospel, the ones that's contending for the faith. We didn't forget that you Sakari niggas, right? Uh, uh, chiefly speaking of the leadership, right? Uh, 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 said that you don't have to worship Yahweh Shai. Well, if you don't have to worship Yahweh Shai, who's making intercession for you to the Heavenly Father Yahweh? Yahweh Shai is the mediator between the Most High and men. Without that mediator, you have nothing. Okay? It says, Who shall separate us from the love of Mashiach Yahweh Shai? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword? As it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are counted as sheep to the slaughter. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. Through Yahweh Shai we can conquer anything. Okay? Anything. The things that we're dealing with right now, we can conquer that as long as we cleave to Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Alright? The things that's to come, we're going to overcome and conquer those things as long as we're cleaving and abiding in Yahweh Shai Mashiach. For I am persuaded that neither death, for I am persuaded, and we all have to be persuaded in our own minds. The next man's persuasion can't help me. Right? The next man's faith, what is that, what is that gonna do for me? Okay? We all must work out our own salvation with fear and trembling, and it's coming down to the wire. It's coming down to, to, to the final seconds, man. The deciding factor. The hour of temptation that cometh upon all the world. He said, I will keep you from that hour because you have kept the word of my patience. So as long as we keep this word with us, as long as we continue to apply what is written and have faith what is written, we can overcome anything. All right. But you got to be persuaded in that. We got to be persuaded in that. Nor height, nor depth. That's a lot here. Let me read that again. Verse 38. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of Yahweh by Hashem, of Yahweh, which is in Yahweh Shai Mashiach, our Lord. See, the Lord loves you through His only begotten Son. Again, without His Son, you have nothing. The Lord Yahweh Himself said, This is my beloved Son. Hear ye, in whom I am well pleased, hear ye Him. We didn't forget about what you niggas said, and the Lord didn't forget about what you niggas said, man. Alright? So this is back in Revelation chapter 12 and verse 12. Uh, verse 11. It says, And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb, and by the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto death. We gotta be ready to give this up. The brother Bakar Moff said, uh, it's gonna come down to, um, do you love your life in this world more than, um... Uh, uh, you, what you believe in, right? And what we believe in promises us a better life, okay? Real life, all right? Roughly paraphrasing what he said. So which one is more important? Life here in America, working, being a slave, subject unto payments, the devil ruling over you? You want to save that life? The same shall lose it. But he that shall lose his life for Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai's sake, the same shall find it. We have something promised unto us outside of this world. Outside of, 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 of what's going on in this place, man. Here we have no continuing city, but we seek one to come, as it says in the book of Hebrews. We got to be willing to give everything up on this side. To get that city wherein dwelleth all good things. It says in the book of 2nd Ezra. Verse 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you. Having great wrath. Because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. The time is short. We know it and this devil knows it as well. Alright. This next, this next lockdown. This next lockdown is not going to be like the first lockdown man. They know what they, the, the first lockdown was a test run. They seen what they did good, what was successful, and what they could have did better, right? So, moving into this next health crisis, or whatever crisis they try to say, right? 
and they lock everything down, it's going to be uh, a, a more refined version than the first one, right? They're going to, they're, they're not going to, we don't got much longer. It's not about to be a lockdown, open back up for two more years, and another lockdown is just going to continue on for the next three decades. No, Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai is coming to deliver us, man. He's coming to free his sons, okay? He's coming to save us from this damn devil, all right? Let's go back into Esther. This is Esther chapter 13 and verse 5. Seeing then we understand that this people alone is continually in opposition unto all men. They're trying to push sodomy and, and, and this alphabet agenda. We, we're not with that. We're in complete opposition, right? They're trying to put the woman over the man and, 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 and bullshit like that, man. We're not with that. Okay, they're trying to see hip everybody, right? The digital, you got the, the digital awe. The whole world is going to a digital currency. That digital currency is going to be injected into your hand or in your forehead, somewhere in your body. And without that, you're not going to be able to buy or sell. We're in complete opposition to that agenda. We're speaking against it. Therefore, he's going to target us. Therefore, he's going to try to kill us because of that. Because we're following the Bible and what is written, the devil is going to try to kill us, man. Alright? That's the seriousness of what we are a part of. We're all on the list. Okay? They're watching all of us. They're monitoring all of us. And they're scared. Like a bunch of bitches. Alright? Scared of men with Bibles. Not guns. Right? We have no type of military personnel. We don't have none of that. We have Bibles. Okay? And with this Bible, we are exposing their ass through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. As it says in the book of Revelations, it says, After three days and a half, the spirit of life entered into them, and great fear fell upon them which saw them. These devils are scared. Because we are returned back to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. The Most High in the name of His only begotten Son. And can't nothing separate us. It's over with for you devils, man. The jig is up. This is the book of 2 Kings, chapter 6. I'm going to get straight to the point. 2 Kings 6 and 8, it says, Then the king of Syria warred against Israel and took counsel with his servants, saying, In such and such a place shall be my camp. Now I'm going to jump down. I just wanted to give you that context. The king of Syria is warring with Israel, right? Verse 10, it says, And the king of Israel sent to the place which the man of Yahweh told him and warned him of and saved himself there, not once nor thrice. It's like it, not once nor twice. So when you hey, you listen to the, to the prophets of the Lord, that's how you deliver yourself. As it says in the book of uh, Ezekiel 33, all right? If you take heed unto his watchmen, you, your soul will be saved from the evil. Because his watchmen, his prophets... The men of the Lord is speaking the words of the Lord. So taking heed unto them is taking heed unto him. The one that sent them. Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. And uh, let's see. Verse 11. Therefore the heart of the king of Syria was sore troubled for this thing. And he called his servants and said unto them. Will ye not show me which of us is for the king of Israel? And one. So he thought one of his, one of his mans was a traitor. And one of his servants said, None, my lord, O king, but Elisha, the prophet that is, that is in Israel, telleth the king of Israel the words that thou speakest in thy bread chamber. It's the same thing that we're doing. We're exposing this devil. We're telling you the future. We're telling you everything this devil's about to do before he does it. Right? He's going to implement the sea hip. He's going to uh, he's gonna go to war in the Middle East. Right? He's going to cost all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond. To receive that karagma in their right hand or in their forehead. And without that, you will not be able to buy yourself. We're telling everything that this devil's about to do. Okay? So what is the reaction of the king of Syria? It says, And he said, Go and spy where he is, just like they're doing now. Spying on us. Watching us. Hey, are they on the video before anybody else is on the video. Getting cut and condemned. 
Go and spy where he is, that I may send and fetch him. And it was told him, saying, Behold, he is in Dothan. Therefore sent he thither horses and chariots and a great host. And they came by night and came past the city about. So this man of the Lord, a prophet of Yahweh, Basham Yahweh Shai, he was exposing this, this uh, heathen's plans. So he sent a small army, a garrison, to go and kill this prophet. We call ourselves prophets. Prophets not an easy job. Prophets have the hardest lives. And we will be persecuted for the work. But we have to remember what is written. We have to remember what is written. The Lord said, blessed are they that is persecuted for righteousness sake. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. This is Matthew chapter 5 and verse 10. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake. For theirs are the kingdom of heaven. Alright, yeah, plain and simple. I quoted it. I'll continue to read though. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you. Which is going to happen. Again, check out the, the brother's video, Bukhara Moth. Check out his video. We're gonna, they're gonna demonize us. They're gonna call us terrorists. They're gonna sound bite and, and chop up the video. They're gonna put us out there, man. As a, a public enemy number one. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely, falsely accuse us for my sake. Rejoice and be exceeding glad. For great is your reward in heaven. We have a great reward for being persecuted for serving Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. Great is your reward in heaven. For so they persecuted the prophets which were before you. They, is, uh, they already persecuted the prophets. And I don't want to write this out. We are the prophets. We done been through it. Okay? We already gone through it. This is our last time to go through it. After this is smooth sailing. After this is everlasting life. After this is an eternity of joy and peace and rulership. Joint heirs with Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Ruling the whole entire earth in righteousness. All we have to do is get through this last test. Okay? And then we homebound. This is back in 2 Kings chapter 6. Oh, I wanted to get another precept. And now I'm going to start wrapping it up. This is Tobit chapter 6 and verse 15. Then, then the angel said unto him, Doest thou not remember the precepts which thy father gave thee? So this is the angel, uh, Raphael, or Raphael, speaking to Tobit. And Tobit was getting nervous because... He was um, about to get married to Sarah, and uh, there was a demon that loved Sarah. So every person, every man that tried to uh, marry Sarah was put to death by this demon. I believe his name was Asmodeus, right? The demon that loved Sarah. But um, so the angel is telling him, you don't remember the precepts that your father gave you? Speaking specifically, so, so like it, Tobit is the father, Tobias is his son. So he's speaking to Tobias and saying, you don't remember the precepts that Tobit gave you, your father, right? And it's the same with us. See, things may look bad, like it looked bad for Tobit. He's like, man, look, the last seven niggas that try to lay with her, they're all dead. I don't want to end up like them. He was getting nervous. It looked bad, right? But if we remember the precepts, it don't matter how it looks. It don't matter what the situation is. It don't matter what type of obstacles is surrounding us, Okay. We have to remember the precepts. Isaiah says, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. Doest thou not remember the precepts which thy father gave thee, that thou shouldest marry a wife of thine own kindred? Wherefore, hear me, O my brother, for she shall be given thee to wife, and make thou no reckoning. So he's reassuring him. He's, 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 he's reassuring him and he's, and he's boosting his faith, right? And make thou no reckoning of the evil spirit. For the same, don't even worry about that. Don't even worry about the evil spirit. Don't even worry about the evil tidings. Don't even worry about this, what this devil's talking about, man. Focus on the precepts. 
Focus on what's written. For this same night shall she be given uh, thee in thy marriage. So that's it on that. Um, I'm not going to finish on this kings. But when you continue to read on the kings. He sent that small army to come and get Elisha. And uh, Elisha had chariots of fire. Alright. So called UFO. So called UAP surrounding him. And he made all them the uh, uh, that garrison blind. Okay, so as it says in the book of Isaiah, when the enemy shall come in like a flood, that's prophecy. The enemy is going to come in like a flood. We read it in Revelations. He's going to make war with the remnant that keep the commandments and have the testimony of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. The devil is about to come down having great wrath because he knows that he has but a short time. But when he does, the spirit of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai is going to lift up a standard against him. That's what we have faith in. That's what we trust in. Wait upon me, thus saith the Lord, till I rise up to the plate, pray. For my determination is to gather the nations and to pour upon them my indignation. Back in Esther 13 and 5, seeing then, we understood that this people alone is continually in opposition. Uh, 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 slack it. In opposition unto all men, differing in the strange manner of their laws. They call our, our law strange. A man being a woman is strange. A man having multiple women is strange to them. But a man lying with another man isn't strange. Nothing wrong with that. Fucking. This devil got to go down, man. And when he. I can't wait, man. I, Lord's will. Lord's will. I'm on a chariot when his place is getting burnt up. I hope and I pray that's the case, man. All right. In a new body rejoicing at the end of Babylon. At the end of the time of the Gentiles. Rejoicing at it, man. All right. And rejoicing. All right. Uh, uh, to be with Yahweh Shai Mashiach. In the chariots of salvation. It says. Differing in the strange manner of their laws. And evil affected to our state. Working all the mischief they can. That our kingdom may not be firmly established. This is They're talking like this right now. In these meetings. These summit meetings. This is how they're talking. This is how they're speaking about us. Right. Us Israelites on the highways and byways. On the internet. Pushing this word. Therefore, have we commanded, put it in law, that all they that are signified in writing unto you by Amon, who is ordained over the affairs and is next unto us, shall all with their wives and children be utterly destroyed by the sword of their enemies. Without all mercy and pity, the 14th day of the 12th month, Adar, of this present year. So, they're, they're looking to come and kill us. They're looking to come and kill uh, uh, us, our children, uh, you got a woman coming to kill her ass. Anybody connected to you. Again, they got us on a list. Alright? Look at the Southern Poverty Law Center. They mention us. Okay? Now, I, I I just recently read it, but I know back when they first put us on there, they were mentioning all the camps. Even Des Moines camp was mentioned. Right? All the GMS camps. You got one here, one here, one there. Right? And as we continue to grow, as the elect begin to uh, uh, get sealed and come into this knowledge, they're keeping record of all that. They're keeping track of all that. And they're getting more scared. They're getting more nervous. All right? Soon they're going to make their move. Soon the Lord is going to have them make their move. This is all the Lord's doing. It's his it's prophecy. He said that he's going to come in. But he also said that he's going to protect us when he does come in. Yahweh Shai said to Pilate, you can't do nothing unless power was given to you from heaven. So anything that we... Any, Situation we find ourselves in, know that Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai is orchestrating it. He is watching it. And as he is watching it, he's trying to see how we, re we react because it's all a test to see if we are faithful. It's a test of fidelity. Okay? So that's pretty much all I had. I wanted to go into Maccabees and, and show how it was outlawed. But that's uh, maybe, maybe because uh, 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 I'm reading Maccabees now. So if the spirit come upon me, maybe I'll touch up on that in another video sometime this week, man. All right? But. Having that said, Lord willing, that was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rechachodash. Yahweh is the true, holy, powerful, in the name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true, holy, powerful, in the name of His only begotten Son, our Lord and our Savior. Rechachodash is the Holy Spirit that speaks through us, that allows us to rightly divide the word of truth and teach the word correctly and directly. double honest to the elders of Israel, being the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, that were well. Shalom, Wahabla, Bachyar, Shara, which is peace and love to the elect of Israel. Shalom, Achim, your brothers keep on pushing, stay sober, stay diligent, stay faithful, stay prayed up. Salvation draweth nigh, and redemption is nearer than we believe. Shalom.